So you've decided to connect your, your network via SD-WAN. You're going to use the public internet as your medium of traffic. You've decided to move away from private networks. So what does that actually mean for you? Well, fundamentally, what it means is that you've decided to go and move from one potential internet connect breakout point, a core point in the network, where you're going to put all your defences, all your firewalls, all your DDoS mitigation, all those type of solutions. And you're now going to put each of your individual sites onto the public internet with a router which effectively can be attacked and hacked by people who want to take your organization out, gather data, try and monetize the data that you hold. So attacks that might come about a, a passive attack, just people slowly monitoring what's going on in your network, seeing where you've got gaps, trying to understand what's happening across your network. That can then move up once they found uh, a vulnerability to them actually attacking your physical hardware, trying to take out your router, try and actually get inside your network, try and take advantage of you not perhaps patching correctly. It can then move up to things like DDoS attacks of them saying, well, actually, you're on the internet. I can take out your path to the internet to deny you service. And also it enables them to take data out of your network. Once they get a foothold there, they can actually compromise your network, take that data. And it's not just to that location, it's potential across multiple locations. Some of the offerings you might want to look at, of course, would be things like firewalls, but make sure they're next generation firewalls. Make sure also you've got a team to manage and support them. You might want to look at simple things like DDoS mitigation. If someone's going to try and take out your internet connection, how can you protect against that? What we can also do is put in identity access management tools to make sure the people on your network are the correct people. And most importantly, make sure the people who should be administering your network are actually who they say they are.